80s. Uh, so it was uh, Larry Tibbetts, which is uh, one of the uh, uncles and grandmother milked in that barn. Then my husband took over and uh, they milked in this barn. Over time, you see this barn over here, it's a uh, free store barn. So it can house up to about 200 cows. Um, a milking parlor, so now we cut it down to one person can milk while somebody's out the field work. We don't milk cows anymore, have it for about, I don't know, eight years or so. Um, so we went to beef. Uh, so mainly what you're going to see is beef, maybe dairy beef crosses. Um, we still like the milk. My husband misses milking. So as things start progressing, we're going to start selling our own milk, um, butter. Kind of dabbled with cheese. Uh, again, a work in progress. We've been saying this for years. It's did it. She put it in farmland trust. She didn't want Walmart built up on top of her. her. Her and her husband's wishes were to be spread on the property, which they are. So, I mean, that was back in 1942, and they, they just built up and up, and hopefully continue to keep going. We'll see. So, we try to keep that old stuff going. Yeah. Well, you know, especially the uh, older folks in town, when this whole town used, to, this whole road used to be nothing but farms on it. Um, and now there's mainly the real work. You know, Dairy farm is pretty done at the other end of the road. Uh, but like you said, it's going to be. And growing. Um, okay. I got some here, I got some in the barn. Um, in the winter time they come down in the free stall barn so they are st still can come outdoors. They can go under, you know, undercover if they want to, but you know, you'd be like, why are you standing out in the freezing cold, you know? <laughs> the, the weatherman tells us we're gonna get frostbite advisory and you guys are standing outside. They like it, Dar especially dairy cows. Dairy cows definitely like the cold. Okay. 